it's Andy Fogarty from the theathomewelder.com and today I'm going to demystify the process to measuring down rails, especially if you're just by yourself and you don't have any help and you want to make sure that you get the perfect measurement in at least in about five minutes. So I'm going to show you the three step process that literally only takes five minutes and you'll get perfect measurements every time without second guessing yourself. So let's not waste any more time, let's get right to it. Now when you're measuring for your down rails, especially if you have a down rail that's, co that's coming into a right angle here, like we're coming off of, of a column here, and then we're gonna come out and do a right angle and go down to your down rail, uh, a lot of times that looks a little confusing and it might be a little overbearing, but the easiest thing for you to do is just to break it into sections. We break everything into sections and it makes everything so much more easier and manageable, uh, especially when you're trying to, to look at everything and get your right measurements. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this into sections. Um, the first section, I'm just going to break it into a small straight section. That's all this is, is just one little straight section. And in my particular case, I know I'm only going to be coming out about 12 inches. So if, it doesn't matter if you're coming out 12 inches or 30 inches, it, the process is going to be the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my handy dandy little measuring jig here. So I know that that's going to be my, my, my post and where my mount is going to be. I'm going to measure out 12 inches from my side. So remember, you're going to measure out however many inches that you need. So I'm measuring out 12 inches for me. I'm going to kind of leave that where it needs to be. And I'm just going to put my little foot jig here right where it needs to be. Now I also need to measure out how far out I want this to come. And usually I kind of I like to center this in the step. So I'm going to measure Make sure I have everything centered here. It's around six inches for me. And I'm gonna measure that one more time to make sure I've got everything right where I need it to be, around 12 inches. So, now I know where my post needs to be. Now I know how long my channel needs to be because I can measure exactly from the wall to my post. And I know that that's gonna be 12 inches. Now, you also wanna consider what kind of mount you're gonna be using, So, but you can figure that out in the shop too. So if you're going to be putting some mounts on the very end of your channel and they're eighth inch thick, well you might want to measure that here or you might want to do that in the shop. Just remember to take off an eighth of an inch. Now from here, I know where my post needs to be. Now I can break this into the next section, which is just going to be a very short little section to come to the end of the step before I start doing my down rail. So that is very, very easy. All I'm going to do is measure from my post to the end of my step. And it looks like I'm probably around four inches or so. Oh, five inches. So I know that my next section is only going to be five inches, so I'm going to write all that down. Now from here, this is where we start to do the down rail. Now the down rail is very, very simple. All we need to do is just simply measure from the end of this step here all the way down to the bottom. Now we're going to take our other foot jig and we're going to place that at the bottom of the steps so we'll know how far we need to pull our measure. So for this bottom piece, we're going to go ahead and put our mount right where we need it to be. And I usually like to come out at least six inches, but that might change depending on what kind of uh, material you have down here, what kind of concrete and that kind of thing. It just depends on uh, each, each individual situation changes. But for this particular case, I'm going to come out about six inches because it's going to look really nice. Now I'm going to come out about six inches, and I know from the top I came out 12 inches, so I'm going to come out 12 inches down here as well. So I'll come out 12 inches. And I'm going to come out six inches from my step. And this is where I want my, my mount to be. So I can just pull my measurement from the top all the way down to the bottom of this tubing. And that's going to give me the length of my rail. So I'll just pull my tape all the way up there to the top there. And I'm at 90 inches. Now from here, all we need to do is to find our angle with our angle finding tool that we made and we're going to have the perfect angle and then we can go back to the shop and start putting this together.